So number two is a project from 2016. Again, it's a new commission from Lyft and it's a project that I was so pleased to be able to support. It's Minefield. This is, for me has always enabled a bridge, a bridge of understanding between people's experiences, between different cultures. And this project exemplifies that, I think, more than any that we've ever produced or presented before. When I grew up, uh, one of my most formative early experiences was watching the news over the summer of 1982 and seeing the Falklands War unfold, seeing Britain go to war with Argentina over these tiny islands 8,000 miles away in the South Atlantic. Uh, uh, and it was tied up with the rise of Margaret Thatcher and the whole political movement in the 1980s and it was a very powerful political moment and to go back uh, uh, to that moment as the inspiration for creating Manfield felt really personally very important for me. Uh, the Falklands War has somewhat faded away from the national consciousness. It's been superseded by other wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, uh, but it was, as I say, a very important political moment. And with Minefield, what the amazing Argentinian theatre maker Lola Arias did was bring together three former Argentinian soldiers who fought in the Falklands War and three British uh, uh, soldiers who fought in the Falklands War was to bring them together on stage to interact with each other and tell their stories about the very human, personal consequences of war and the impact that war has had on our lives. And it was a reminder to audiences, because it's us in the society that, that we live in, in the democracy that we live in, that make the decision to ask people to go to war on our behalf. It reminded us, I think, of our responsibility to them. Uh, it, it was the most searing, truthful, honest account of war and what it means. Uh, and I think it absolutely transformed our understanding of what an enemy is, of what that, co of what that conflict meant, both in Argentina and the UK. And it, it, it was an incredible project. And one of the things that we were delighted about was we presented that project over the course of two weeks at the Royal Court was that it started off with arts attenders coming, but over a couple of weeks, we, off, we saw more service people coming, Chelsea pensioners coming, and we're really thrilled actually to have just been given support by the Arts Council to take that project across England. It's really important that Manfield is seen. It gives a really important insight into the horror of war and its impact on the human beings that we asked to enact it for us. And so we're delighted to be getting it out in England at the end of 2017 and early 2018.